Inside the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Investigation's DNA lab here in London, forensic scientists focus is to bring home the missing. They're very stubborn. They're not usually willing to give up easily. Right now, around 100 cases of unidentified remains wait to be solved here in Ohio. DNA is definitely the game changer now. Jennifer Lester is a criminal intelligence analyst with BCI who tells us DNA has changed the playing field for families. It helps bring them the answers they're looking for. It helps return those people home to their families. Our cameras were in Scioto County last month after authorities say remains connected to several missing persons cases dating back 40 years were discovered. BCI asked by the Scioto County Sheriff's Office to help in the investigation. Sometimes remains have been out in the elements for long periods of time um, and it's a little bit more challenging to try to get DNA profiles, but the forensic scientists behind me are pros. Part of the workload for these forensic scientists include analyzing DNA from biological family members with DNA from unidentified remains. It's part of a program known as Project Link, linking individuals not known. So without the DNA that we have now, some of those cases would still be sitting. It is electric when you get a lead, um, when you get a potential identification. That happened a few years ago when DNA taken from a skull found in Ross County in 1996 by the river near the State Correctional Institute were tested. The remains identified as belonging to World War II veteran Ward Thomas, who went missing in 1972 while being treated at the VA Medical Center in Chillicothe. They were able to bury him with veterans honors. They had a huge funeral and stuff for him once he was identified. In addition to identifying human remains and missing persons DNA, Project Link also analyzes latent fingerprints. We looked into Project Link's caseload over the years and since 2021, 487 cases have been open. 412 of those cases closed. Forensic scientists sometimes have just a very small piece of DNA evidence to work with. Sometimes as small as a nanogram. Now to put that in perspective, take a jelly bean and then break it into a billion pieces. Just one of those slivers is what forensic scientists get to work with. We do have a lot of tools in our arsenal here at BCI for these challenging samples. We have a lot of resources we can try to throw at it. New forensics technology now making a big difference. The lab recently began using this DNA extraction robot, which provides pure DNA samples faster. Are you seeing an increase in cases? Oh, absolutely. So we're always kind of looking out for that. What's, what's next that can make us, you know, go faster, get more DNA? Scientific testing, working to provide answers to bring the missing home. Um, evidence cannot speak. Unfortunately, that's our job as forensic scientists and being able to provide that to law enforcement, being able to provide that to a family. It's why we do what we do. On your side, Steve Levine, Fox 28 News.